money strategy and life purpose. There is some integration work that I've been doing personally, but I've also started to notice with my clients, the moment we actually start engaging in the logical financial planning aspect and integrating that with uh, their vision, their purpose, and their human design, and just how they show up in the world, it becomes a much more fun conversation, but it also really starts to create this way of being for them in their world. And it allows them to show up differently with money. So the more integration um, conversations I have, the more and more I'm even realizing like for my own journey and for other journeys, it's really, really helpful to see the why, to see the purpose, see the vision for your financial wellness journey. So that's kind of a synopsis of why I'm constantly talking about integrating the two, your money strategy along with your life purpose. It's so, so important. And the results that I'm, I've seen in my own life, but I'm also seeing with clients are that much more significant because we are having these conversations in a combined format. So I first want to speak into life purpose and what I mean by that, what my experience has been with that to share how it can really be simplified. It doesn't have to be this massive, like I want to change the world type of thing. It really truly can just simply be an alignment of your life's work and your decisions around what you want that to look like. From a definition standpoint, life purpose is really there to help guide you and influence your behavior, your thoughts, and shape your goals that you have as you move forward. The number one biggest question that I ask in client sessions that does not have an answer is what are your goals? And most people, when they come to me, they don't necessarily know, or they don't have any, or they have kind of a sense of what they would like, but there's no like formal goal setting process around this. And so it's hard to know like, okay, we're starting in point A and where's point B? And we don't know point B because there's no goal set in place. Purpose helps define that a little bit and create more meaning behind it and more satisfying experience around what it is that we're doing from a financial lens when we can um, assign purpose to it. And the other piece of this um, in redefining like purpose and vision, purpose is kind of this overarching um, guide for life and what you want your life to look like over this long-term time frame. But your vision is um, a part of that too. And it's the how to execute on that purpose. And that also gets defined over time and you get to discover and play with what that looks like. So it's more of a discovery process versus a deciding and determination type of process. So when I meet with people and they don't necessarily know their purpose, they don't know their vision, totally cool. We have an abundance of space to play in if you don't know what that looks like for you. So I want to just acknowledge that if you don't know your purpose, you don't know your vision and you're not clear on it, great. Be in discovery mode. Start to play in the possibilities to discover it. And the actual like way to go about this that I found easiest is to journal about it. So sit with over and over and over again until it becomes more and more clear some journal exercises and some meditation exercises over what do I really love to do every single day? If I could do anything I wanted to, if anything was possible, what might that look like? And those are two simple questions to ask yourself literally every day and do it for 30 days and see what comes up. Just start to notice and name what comes up because what's really powerful if you did that for 10 minutes a day, every single day in journaling that experience, you come up with more and more and more because now your energy is focused on what do I want my purpose in life to be? What do I want to leave a legacy on? And how does that look for me? I was talking with a client earlier and we were discussing this visualization of talking to her 80 year old self and what would her 80 year old self say? And it was a really fun journey because what my 80 year old self tells me when I kind of play this game in my imagination is very different than what her 80 year old self would say to her. And so that's the beautiful thing about kind of playing in these possibilities and discovering your life purpose and even starting to recognize what you want three years, 10 years, 
20 years, 40 years down the road is your imagination can really want, run wild if you let it. So I encourage you to take some time a little bit every single day to play in those possibilities and be in discovery mode. If you already know your vision, if you already know your purpose, that's even more powerful because now you have a direction. Now you have some motivation behind the money strategy piece. When I started to work with my purpose, this is what I came up with. So I actually made a statement out of it. So you can do the same if, if you know what yours is, or if you want to be in recognition of it on a regular basis. Mine is simply that I empower others to lead a life of effortless abundance. And I guide others to play in possibility, to get out of their way, to get out of their comfort zone with money. I utilize my skills, my talents, my experience to encourage others to build wealth for themselves. And what people find when they're around me is they feel like they can do it. They feel courageous. They feel brave. They take a stand for their life, for their vision, and they know how to make money at that vision. And that is the name of the game for me. Like that is what brings me this pure fulfillment and joy every single day is to be in those conversations, is to get messy with it. And I don't really like messy, but that's what I do like messy with. Like I enjoy that process and that discovery um, phase. You know, at the end of the day, you get one journey at this life. So what are you going to spend your energy on? What does that look like for you? And starting to really complete it and, and define it is going to be really crucial. One last thing I'll say about the kind of life purpose um, piece of this is if you know your life purpose and you know what you should be doing and you're not doing it, that's okay too. But start to recognize how you get to show up every single day to life and do life at the best way you can, even if it's at a job you don't like, even it's if it's at um, other things that are happening around you that you don't necessarily enjoy, the more you can expand yourself into doing those things to the best of your ability, you actually grow out of those things. There are probably lessons in those things that you get to learn and grow out of so that you can expand more into that life's purpose, more into that life's vision. So I encourage you to really show up for that because especially when we're out of alignment and I experience this, so I talk really passionately about it. It's every single day I would go to work and I get paid awesome money to do something that was really unfulfilling to, you know, manage and babysit people. And I didn't enjoy it. It was not fulfilling. It was a lot of bureaucratic stuff that I didn't really care for. And so I was out of alignment, knowing what my life purpose was, knowing that I want to empower women with money. I want to encourage them to build wealth. I want them to redirect that wealth to their purpose. Yet I was like in a role where I wasn't able to initiate that and to have that energy and exchange around that. So over time, I really had to sit with, okay, how can I do this role the best way I can possible and really expand myself out of it essentially. And that's exactly what I did. The minute I flipped my mindset into like stopping to complain about that job they didn't like that. Yeah. paid me good money and that everyone around me was like, you should be so grateful for the minute I did start becoming grateful for it. And I did start to reframe how I showed up in that role. I showed up so freaking powerfully. I literally expanded out of it. And it came to this point of, I no longer fit into that role. And I was able to expand out of it. And I was able to do more of the things that I love because I just kept showing up in this more and more expansive space. And looking back, I can see it so clearly now, and that's why I can speak into it. But when you're in it, it doesn't feel like it. it just feels like you're constantly up against this edge of like, okay, I'm showing up. Okay. I'm doing the work. Okay. I am bringing my all, I'm bringing my best to this thing that I don't really love to do. And yet when you actually do that work and when you don't complain about it, and when you're grateful for the opportunity to do that every single day, that's when all these other opportunities get dropped right in front of you. Like hands down, that's how it goes. <laughs> I encourage you to um, just continue to be in that work and really focus on how you get to show up as your best version of you each and every day, regardless of if it's in your purpose or not.